Hi everyone, this is Deep Single from Attack Point. Once again, welcome to episode 7 of How to Hack into Shell Lenovo Y50. So in this tutorial, I will going to tell how to triple boot Windows 8, Ubuntu and Mac OS X and how to configure your Clover boot list. And pretty much the requirement is Ubuntu bootable pen drive. So first you will need and space in, on your hard drive before installing Ubuntu. So you just need to go to Disk Manager and uh, Make a new partition as in this video I am having 21.16 GB of unallocated memory I am trying. I am making a new hard drive uh, with a file system format NTFS uh, just for uh, Ubuntu installation so this process is very easy you can follow it along with me as I am doing right now. After done with that, you just need to swap your pen drive in and make a bootable Ubuntu pen drive which you can follow in the part 4 as I have done it in the part 4 very properly. You can follow the same thing and you will get your Ubuntu pen drive ready. After that, you just need to follow all the steps as shown in the video above. And after that, you just need to plug in your pen drive and boot your Lenovo with a Novo button and you will get a menu in which you just need to select a boot menu option and you have to boot your pen drive. After that you will get such menu you just need to select the install Ubuntu uh, drop down menu option and then your Ubuntu setup will gonna boot up. This will take a while. After that you will get a welcome screen in which you will need to select your language as I am selecting English and this is pretty much a very easiest process uh, of installing Ubuntu if you are familiar with it otherwise you can follow me uh, as I am doing right now. I do not have a Wi-Fi network and I'm just installing the third-party software also. After this you will just need to take care on how and where you have to install Ubuntu just take care of it it gonna ask you to form a hard drive it can erase the full hard drive so you just need to select something else and in this you have to see which for uh, which size of partition you form just formatted in Windows as in the Windows I selected the 21 GB one so this is which is the partition which is uh, need to be formatted and uh, I have to install Ubuntu in. The format I use is ext4 general link system file system and mount point is slash just the slash this is very important thing after that just click on install and it will going to ask some kind of uh, agreement stuff just click on continue and it will going to swap her space and install the whole Ubuntu system uh, Ubuntu OS in this hard drive you just need to select one more thing that country and I'm in India so I'm selecting India then click on continue after that you just need to select the keyboard layout pretty much it is English and who are you the main thing <laughs> so you can just type in every information that you got then click on continue it will going to run up pretty much a whole setup for you and your Ubuntu system will going to be installed on that hard After that it will going to prompt with a restart now menu and you just click on the button and it will going to restart your Lenovo system. As you can see the Lenovo will boot up into Ubuntu menu directly instead of a Clover thing. It is very worrying thing but you don't have to worry about it. You just need to select Windows Boot Manager in or you can just test it out your Ubuntu for a while or you can set it up. Uh, the whole Ubuntu system 
before uh, before configure your boot menu thing so and as in this video I'm just configuring the Ubuntu system for the first time so as you can see the this is a native Ubuntu running from the hard drive not a pen drive now as in part 4 so uh, this laptop already having 3 OS you just need to configure your boot menu and boot option you just need to make the clover one as a default mood menu to show up in a startup so just play a while with Ubuntu like I'm doing now Here starting it will going to take some time and it will going to slow down a bit uh, but it works very well I don't use uh, Ubuntu really but I'm thinking to use it uh, for a while and learn how this OS works uh, after that you just need to restart the system as I'm doing now I don't want to play much more uh, in this video so I'm just restarting the PC which you can done by clicking on the top of it of the settings button and you will see this option after that your system will gonna reboot and going to reboot in the same Ubuntu menu which just you just saw uh, like this one after that you just need to click on the Windows boot manager thing it will going to boot into your Windows 8 which you already know and familiar with uh, just click uh, hit enter on the third third menu thing which is the boot windows boot manager Once you get into your windows, you just need to go to search and search for easy UEFI thing which you have previously installed uh, if you followed the par previous parts of the video. If you didn't just follow it or you can just install it, it is a very simple setup to set on. You can just download and run the program, it will going to work uh, flawlessly. Once you open your UEFI software, you just need to drag the OS X uh, boot menu option which you just previously set up in the previous videos uh, to the top so that the Clover, config Clover boot menu option gonna load up in starting instead of the Ubuntu one. So you just need to select the OS X thing and just click on the above arrow like this. After that you just need to restart your system and you will find that your Clover boot menu will load up. So this is pretty much for the triple boot thing and you will see the all options available in the Clover boot menu automatically without any problem. You can boot into Mac OS X, Windows and Ubuntu flawlessly without any issue. As you can see now all menu shows up as you can see the new icon has or has added on and this is the Ubuntu one and the Mac OS X is already here and Windows 8. You may be wondering, uh, now I'm booting in Ubuntu to show that it works, really works. The Clover, you can boot your Ubuntu using uh, via a Clover boot menu also. So it, it do really work. So now let's as you already saw that uh, and now you already saw that there are a lot of boot entries coming and showing up on the clover thing uh, which you just hitting off right so just you just need to worry about it in this tutorial we're going to cover that part also you just need to go to your mac os x uh, partition and boot your hackintosh and go to your clover configuration so let's boot into uh, Mac OS X now. Uh, 
After that, you just need to go to your application, which is a Clover configuration, which you just have installed in the previous videos, which I showed. Uh, if you didn't, just download and just open it up. After that, you have to mount your system drive, which is the boot menu manager drive in which all the records are saved. Just boom, just you have to mount it, uh, which you can done by which you can do by the mount EFI thing. So just mount the partition. Once you mount the partition, you just need to click the home icon once again and select the location of the configuration file which is the system drive if we clover and config.plus. After that, you just need to go to menu which is a GUI menu. In this, you have to uncheck the legacy and tools thing. Tool, sorry, this is tool. Tool and legacy, you have to uncheck them and after that just export the config file and then reboot your Mac OS X once again Once you're done, you will find that all the unnecessary boot menu list uh, boot options will be gone and you will see a less icon on your Clover boot menu options. As you can see now, it's my laptop is rebooting and you will find less icon and appropriate icon which you wanted to have for so long. As you can see now I am got only only and only five icons to boot up uh, I don't think this will gonna bother you much uh, if you want to edit them also just you just need to work a lot more harder in the GUI option if you want it then just uh, leave a comment below so this is all about the the part 7 of the video and this I just told how to triple boot and how to configure your boot list in the Clover boot menu option. So if you want an advanced tutorial on how to edit icon and how to uh, rename the boot list thing then just leave a comment below I will going to work on it. So this is all about guys this is all for this video guys thanks for watching this is Deep Singer from Attack Point do subscribe to this channel and keep supporting me bye bye